Hi, this is Abdul Karim on News Afternoon here with the latest stories of the day. The UAE has announced 85 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of people infected to 333 yesterday. The Ministry of Health also announced a recovery of seven individuals, taking the total number of recoveries to 52. The country has recently taken drastic measures to combat the spread of COVID-19, including halting international flights and suspending the issuance of entry visas, resorting to remote work working at most of the institutions, closing public venues and encouraging people to stay at home. The Ministry of Interior has referred 64 people for violating the health authorities' instructions on the 14-day home quarantine. According to the Ministry, all the individuals were in contact with persons who were confirmed to be infected with COVID-19. This is a violation of the federal law to combat communicable diseases, which can result in a fine and or imprisonment. Mainland China reported a second consecutive day of no new local coronavirus cases, but imported cases rose. A total of 67 new cases were reported as of Wednesday, up from a 47 a day earlier, all of which were imported. Meanwhile, Spain struggled to cope yesterday as its death toll exceeded China's with another 738 lives lost in a single day. With 3,434 fatalities, Spain now has the second highest number of deaths globally after Italy's 6,820. Nursing homes across the country have been overwhelmed and a skating rink in Madrid has been turned into a makeshift morgue. With more than 200 deaths reported, the United States also recorded its highest number of fatalities in a single day yesterday. The total number of deaths in the country is now touching 1,000 and more than 65,000 people have been tested positive for the virus. The U.S. Senate unanimously backed a $2 trillion bill yesterday. It is aimed at helping unemployed workers and industries hurt by the coronavirus epidemic, as well as providing billions of dollars to buy urgently needed medical equipment. The rescue package, which would be the biggest ever passed by Congress, includes a $500 billion fund to help hard-hit industries and a comparable amount for direct payments of up to $3,000 apiece to millions of U.S. families. The package is intended to flood the economy with cash in a bid to stem the impact of an intensifying epidemic. Prince Charles has tested positive for coronavirus but is in good health and is now self-isolating in Scotland with mild symptoms. It is unknown how the 71-year-old caught the virus because of his recent busy schedule of public events. The Prince of Wales was tested on Monday and got the results on Tuesday and was advised that the condition was unlikely to escalate into a more serious case. The Queen remains in good health and is following the appropriate advice with regards to her welfare, according to a spokesperson from the Buckingham Palace. Thank you for watching. For more on the stories, you can log on to khalishtimes.com. It's goodbye for now.